Hi everybody, it's Kevin and Ralph. That's me. And we're at the cottage and well, today we're making a cake. And um, it is a special cake. It's a sour cream cake. Uh, and actually this recipe comes from Ralph's family. It's a traditional Polish sour cream cake that my dear Aunt Mercy used to make and bring to our family gatherings and it was such a hit, very popular, and we're trying it for the first time here up at the Kitchen Cottage in Lexington, Michigan. Uh, it just so happens to also be Kevin's birthday, so he's making his own cake. So I'm making my own birthday cake. Well, because if I did, it'd be a disaster. Yeah. But Anyways, that's fine. Uh, I can't think of a better birthday present than to be in the kitchen um, and making a cake. And uh, Ralph's family have been talking about this cake for a long time. We have the recipe, so it'll be fun to finally make it. Oh, yeah, we should show the book that uh, my family put together. It's a book of uh, shared family treasures. My dear... Aunt Mercy Frago Rastoni put the sour cream cake in there, so we thought we would try to make it. And if it's a hit, we'll bring it to the next family gathering. So we're going to start with two sticks of oleo margarine. That's what it says in the recipe. People don't call it oleo anymore. People just call it margarine. We're going to get this creamed up. We are going to add the next ingredient, which is the sugar. So we've got two sticks of margarine could use butter I guess uh, we're sticking to the traditional recipe this is two cups of sugar just regular white sugar and we'll add that blend 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 mix 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 this is not uncommon in a cake recipe to cream the sugar and the butter or the shortening or whatever it is that you're using for fat together Oh, I see that a lot in these old recipes. It's called creaming? Creaming, okay. exactly. So let me just do a little scrape down here. So there we go. So we've got our mm, butter. Mashed potatoes. And our, and our margarine, rather, and our sugar uh, together. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add six egg yolks. We This recipe calls for six eggs. And separated. We've, we've separated them. What are we listening to? Sounds like the Andrews sisters. It is. It's the Andrews sisters from the 40s. And I believe this was the music that uh, from the generation of my dear Aunt Mercy. So we're going to scrape down. We're going to um, finish putting beating the eggs in here, the egg yolks, I should say. Is that also considered creaming? Well, we're kind of done with the creaming part. So this now is we're just, just on to beating, yeah. Okay. Our next step now is uh, we're going to add one cup of sour cream. This is sort of the kind of the Polish part of it. We make jokes about sour cream all the time, but um, sour cream adds a richness and, of course, uh, a wonderful moisture to cakes. We're going to put our sour cream in. That was the thing that we loved so much about our Aunt Mercy's sour cream cake is that it was always so moist. Okay, so now we've got, we've got our uh, margarine, we have got our egg yolks, we have got our sugar, we have got our sour cream all together. And um, the next, uh, we're going to add all the dry ingredients. Um, so that includes three cups of sifted flour, and uh, it also includes our leaveners. So we've got baking, a teaspoon of baking soda, and a teaspoon of baking powder. Okay, we will get those in. So we'll finish getting these dry and gleat ingredients blended, and then we'll come back for the next step for our sour cream cake 
uh, a la Aunt Mercy. Be right back. Okay, we are coming down to the uh, last part of putting the ingredients together for our sour cream cake. Uh, so we have all of our dry ingredients blended now. Uh, it calls for a teaspoon of lemon juice. You ever get juice out of a plastic lemon? Here you go. And then we're also going to put in a teaspoon of our vanilla. And you can smell it. And smell it. That's super vanilla. strength. So we'll get that in there. The next uh, step calls for egg whites. So if you remember, we have the egg yolks in here now. And now we're going to incorporate the egg whites. Now Aunt Mercy in her recipe said to beat the egg whites until frothy. So not step, but frothy. So we have done so. Pretty frothy to me. Um, so Got a we'll, nice froth going. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this out, and then looks like a yogurt covered pretzel, doesn't it? The batter smells awesome. It's a uh, it's a it's a thick batter, of course, with the uh, sour cream, um, but it sure has a nice aroma to it. Try to. Get. Should I lick My that? fingers are clean. No, you shouldn't lick it, but... Because it's got raw eggs in it. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. You know, some people freak out about raw eggs. I don't know. I remember when I was a kid, and you do too, probably licking... Oh, the batter... Um, off of her. Yeah. From, yeah, in fact... Uh, we didn't die. No, we didn't die. It probably made but, us stronger. I don't know. So, okay. So here's our frothy egg whites. Let me take the bowl off the mixer, sort of make it a little easier. So we're supposed to fold these, you can see, fold the egg whites, the frothy egg whites, into the batter. So that's what we're doing. For folding our sour cream cake. is different than stirring. So folding is you're coming you're cutting into the batter, coming up from the bottom, turning the bowl at the same time. Uh, it's a very... It's like a gentler kind of mixing? Yeah, it is a gentle mixing. It's a way to incorporate everything together. Um, but yep. especially use it like with egg whites, you don't want them to be totally flattened out, which they would get if you stirred it. Stirred it, you beat it Or to beat death. it, right. So if you're making like a chiffon cake, uh, angel food cake, things like that, you usually will find yourself folding. Okay, so our frothy egg whites are now folded. It's kind of no sign of them, so they're in there somewhere. Okay, now we're going to put everything in a greased and floured 10 inch tube pan. Aunt Mercy says uh, for us to put one third of the mixture in the pan. So here's our greased and floured tube pan and we're going to put about a third, I'm eyeballing it here, it may not be exact, into the pan. And then we take, now if you had um, Nuts. nuts. You'd you'd mix the nuts and the brown sugar together. We're just using brown sugar. And we put a little bit extra, as Kevin mentioned, since we're not using nuts. This is actually three quarters of a cup. Remember, when you measure your brown sugar, you're packing it in the measuring cup, unlike flour. So, now we put another third of our batter over that. Wow. It's so interesting to me because I remember have such fond memories of just enjoying this sour cream cake from my dear Aunt Mercy, but never knowing, of course, what how it was made. It was just a, a mystery of deliciousness. I'm and sure she made it with lovingly. Love. But now the mystery is uh, starting to 
become clear why I was getting those different layers and levels of yumminess, that buttery brown sugarness. Yeah, the brown sugar kind of gives that buttery caramel kind of okay. And then we finally finish it by putting the last third of the batter in the pan. The oven has been preheated to 350 degrees. Is this almost like an upside down cake? Um, or is it gonna is it gonna rise into this shape? It will yeah, it'll rise. Remember it's got baking powder and soda in it. Oh which uh, leaveners. And the egg of course the egg whites as well, which will help it rise. But I mean when you're all is said and done, it's not going to flip upside down, is it? Um, no, not really. It's going to stay in this uh, general direction. Yeah. Oh, another layer. So we put our remaining brown sugar in. Then she says to take a knife. Oh, swirl it a bit. And work it in. So what we're actually here is making almost like a marbling effect mm -hmm. with the brown sugar. Like a swirling marbling. There we go. Wow. So. Mystery solved. We're going to put it in the 350 degree oven. And uh, for one hour. So we'll set our timer and we'll come back in an hour and take it out. So in the meantime, we'll get our kitchen cleaned up. And uh, yeah, it's my birthday and we're having sour cream cake. I can't wait. Okay, here we are. There's the cake. Uh, it's fairly much cooled all the way. It's still just lightly warm, but uh, I made just a real simple glaze with powdered sugar cinnamon and a little bit of milk and, and he, put he, that on top. He just drizzled it it came out so beautifully and artistically done and this is the traditional Polish sour cream cake that my mom's sister, my dear Aunt Mercy, used to make for us and we haven't had it in a long time so I'm very anxious to try it. And like that I said, first piece is always uh, the hard one. If it's a hit, we'll take it to our next family reunion coming up in August. Boy, that looks great. All right, Ralph. <laughs> there you go. First bite. Oh yeah. Mmm. It's very moist, and it's got the sweetness of the brown sugar, the butteriness, and I think you. I think you made it. I think it's a success. I think it's a hit. I can't wait to take it to the next family gathering. Sour cream coffee cake. Louder. <laughs> I'm sure they heard me. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next time. Mm, thank you, Kevin. Bye.